Now you take these visiting Indians, for instance, over here. Here's an Arapaho. You make the sign for him like that. Because years ago, the Arapahoes tattooed themselves on the chest. And the way they tattooed was to take porcupine quills or cactus needles, bind them together, and tattoo in the design on the chest. Now, the Arapahoes haven't tattooed all for many, many years, but that's still the sign for that fellow. And that's true. Like this. Some people say that means cutthroats. There's one explanation that's even simpler than that. When the Sioux first came out onto the plains, he wore a long bead. He made a necklace of it. So one Indian meeting another said, what you call him that new Indian that's come out here? Well, how you speak him? Says, don't know. But he wears this thing here, a necklace. And look at the different way they wear their hair. The Sioux and the Arapaho part the hair in the middle and wear it in two long braids. But the Blackfoot, like the Shoshone and the Crow, has two parts in his hair one on either side. Then he roaches his forelock into a sort of pompadour. But in one respect, they're all alike. They all braid their scalp lock and wear it in a single braid behind. 